Hello, is that Sue? Maverick called caller Griff is not long back in the call centre, but already he's looking for a way out. Yes, hello, is that Mrs Clark? Right, this is a business. It is a business, yeah. What sort of business is it? It's not a business. Is. You're not looking to take any staff on you? No. Are you sure? I'll work for next to nothing, to be honest with you, just for a change of scenery. But while he's still in Nev's world, there are rules. And Big Brother is always listening to make sure the likes of Griff stay in line. Yeah, hi, is that Mrs Guest? <laughs> Mrs Guest? <laughs> or, Miss, or Mrs Allen? <laughs> Davis? Is that Mrs Davis? We have to make sure that they're saying the right things. So their qualifying's there, the customer's been given all the relevant information as well as how they interact and what kind of experience we feel the customer's getting from them. Yeah, yeah hang on. Whoa, 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 stay, stay, whoa. I've been uh, summoned by uh, Dion. This is going to be an exercise in complete and utter pointless fucking tedium. But as a grizzled call centre veteran with nearly 15 years frontline experience, Griff has a few tricks for dealing with a fresh-faced 23-year-old like Dion. I mean, with you, I mean, there's no point denying it. You've been your ages. You're a good salesperson. Sorry, could you speak a bit slower? I can't understand you. Yeah, no problem. Um, as I said, you know, you've been here a while. You're a good salesperson. Well, no one's going to take that away from you. As far as your feedback goes, the one thing you, you kind of really missing on is making sure that you're giving the customer the best service for the call. What you do have a tendency to do is sometimes rush through the calls. Now, if you haven't checked the address, which you said yourself is something which is very, very important, if you had slowed down a bit and checked the address first, it could have been avoided. Sorry, I couldn't understand you when you're saying that a bit fast. Say it again. As I said, if you hadn't of if you hadn't rushed the call and you had just checked the address properly yeah. the first time, it could have been avoided. So we're talking attention to detail in essence. Pretty much, yeah. Don't know if you can see this, but somebody spelled rapport here yeah, in an absolutely obscene manner. R E P O R E. So I'm not E and the T very close, obviously not hitting the right number. Th that's just, the thing I really... just attention to DL. Yeah, definitely. And you know. the same, that's a good thing. See, you're noticing the little spare mistakes. All you've got to do now is put that attention to detail into your own cause. Reap did. That's not an actual word. Reap did. Not right. It says reap did. If you just, when you're typing these out, if you just slow it down. Yeah. Spell check. Because what you tell me, the feedback you give me is brilliant. And the way you're delivering it is brilliant. Do you know what I mean? But then when I'm looking at this and the spell mistakes, it... It's hard trying to control him sometimes. He's quite random. You know, it's part and parcel of the job, really. You know, I, I've, I've been working in the department about three years, so I've dealt with Griff a couple of times. So, yeah, you just kind of get used to it. <laughs> He's come on leaps and bounds, because he used to be fucking rubbish at that job. So his, um, his confidence is coming on, you know, but he talks too fast, so I didn't understand the word he said, but his attitude was uh, good.